Hello, good afternoon. This is Francis from uh, McCaffrey Crafts. Uh, plan to probably blast out as many YouTube videos as I can over the next while. So um, I was just on Facebook there and just uh, having a bit of banter with uh, with some guy trying to uh, to get him to buy more sticks. I think he's bought one, then two, and he's uh, he's contemplating buy a third stick. And I thought it'd make for an interesting video about uh, stick collectors. And uh, because I said to him, look, once you get three walking sticks, then you're officially a, a stick collector in my book. It was always like three that I, I kind of thought like, you buy your first walking stick, maybe um, you know something functional, something that you use it again. Then you might buy like a second one or something like that. And you know, you might have one for your everyday use. You might have a nicer one for the weekends or for hiking or for different things. But like when you get to your third stick, you know, then you're, you're, you have a collection going. And what I found with dealing with a lot of these uh, stick collectors is usually um, they have, um, you know, a nice section of their house, like a, what they call a man cave or, or, or some kind of area that they have their little office in or their own space where they can kind of get away from the family and from everyone for a while. I think that that's uh, essential for any man. I don't have that place yet. Uh, my my man cave is my my shed, my workshop, when I can get away from uh, from from everything and just turn on some loud music and uh, work away on on carving handles and sticks and things like that. But um, yeah, and uh, a lot of the uh, the guys they have special displays. They put my walking sticks up on the wall. Um, they look pretty impressive when they're all together, and um, it actually uh, is is a cheap way to decorate your man cave because. If you think about it, like, you know, when you're giving your house like a rustic feel or something like that, you know, some things can be quite expensive, like artwork is expensive. Um, you know, if you're getting like some old signs, like a lot of people like to put up like, you know, old motor oil signs or, or you know, car signs or different things like that. And, you know, to decorate with a lot of car memorabilia and stuff, it's it's going to be quite, you know, five, six hundred dollars, thousand dollars. You know, you, you're going to be spending a lot. But it's actually a, a good and clever way to give a kind of manly feel to to your 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 man cave or something like that because you can put you know some uh some black torn on the wall you can put a few of the shorter shillelaghs you know the ones that kind of look look impressive like you know if you're looking for a display piece then you're looking for something that has an interesting quirk or character or, or something like that and it's instantly a talking piece like if you come into a room and you have like nice like wooden desk or something like that. And you have like this area which with a collection of, of black torn sticks, like they're all lined up one by one. You might have two shillelaghs at the side as well. Um, it's a great talking point. People are like, where do you get them from? You're like, oh, I, I know this guy in Ireland and uh, he, he makes them. And uh, here's, you know, by this guy, here's the one I got in this different market. Here's on this and that. And, you know, here's from this guy's stick compared to this guy. So, you know, it, it can become a, become quite quite good as well when you start getting into um, stick collecting because um, it's a really good hobby. Like, uh, and it's not, it's not, like, if you think about it, it's not, like, mad expensive and things. And when you buy, like, a walking stick, it's a store of value. Like, you can resell that, no problem. Like, uh, there's always, uh, you know, the, 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 the market for, for people who want black drum walking sticks because they're rare enough. Uh, you know, you can't go into any shop in America or, or Canada or, or you know, in, in many places in the world, Australia, and say, oh, I want a few, a few uh, black trunk walking sticks. Look at you, say, we don't have them because there's not many people like me out there that, that are actually making them as well. So, um, you know, the, the stick collecting is, is like a fascinating thing. It's, it's like, um, you know, it's aspects of interior design. It's to give a really rustic feel to the place. You can't get a more kind of masculine product than, you know, handmade wood that's that has grown from Irish ground and um, you know you put up some some history buy a few books as well um you know John Hurley books or or, or something like that you know about uh you know the black Trump walking stick or get some information on the faction fighting or print out some pictures of uh you know some some of the old things and you can kind of make yourself like you know and again if you have an Irish connection it makes it even more kind of um valuable to you because like you know you might have a connection to Ireland in the past two years you hadn't had a chance to visit um, at least with a black turn walking stick you own a piece of Ireland like literally a black turn walking stick it grows in Irish soil its nutrients comes from the earth you know you can't get a more authentic Irish product than an Irish black turn walking stick so um so anyway uh, I'm, I'm waffling on here as well because uh 
I'm just <laughs> trying to think now I need my own man cave. I'd like to decorate a room myself. Uh, if I was doing it, I'd have a lot of wood. I like uh, wood grain and, and different things like that. I don't know, I just feel like, you know, when you have a lot of kind of wood or rustic things, this is pretty good. Like some guys are into cars, some guys are into like, you know, the, the, the pinball machines and things like that. But, uh, you know, the wall the wall looks pretty good when you see Blacktron. Like, it's all lined up in the wall and different things. And it's a lot cheaper than, than getting other stuff to put up there. So it's like, you know, you, you, you can think as well like that as well. It's uh, Blacktron is a great functional tool, uh, a connection to Irish heritage, a very authentic Irish product made by my good self as well. Uh, this time of year, I'm flat out trying to get as many sticks, uh, the best sticks up as, as possible because there's a, there's a good demand. It's just for the next uh, next few weeks as well. So I don't mind working. Um, I'm manning my website's chat now function. So if uh, up until about midnight, I'm usually up. Uh, maybe one, depends. On weekends, I might stay up a bit later. So if you have any questions, go to my website and then there'll be a chat now. And uh, usually in the evening Irish time, which is now, it's about 8 30, let me see it's about 8 30 at night for the next four or five hours i'll have my phone and me and if anyone wants to ask any questions uh yeah i'll try to answer them as, as as quick as i can um if you're sending me very long emails like i probably don't have i can't give you like a, a long response back because I, I know some people get a little bit annoyed they they spend a lot of time and effort writing you know telling me about their their background their connection to ireland what they're interested in and they they, they want um they want me to to send back you know uh, answers to a number of questions and sometimes it's easier to make a youtube video or something like that i have another video to make as well a guy asked me a question about hiking sticks so i'll, I'll do that after this one but um yeah that's kind of how my life is as well so anyway look get into stick collecting i want to see more stick collectors and, uh, you know, as soon as you have three McCaffrey uh, walking sticks, you know, you're an official uh, stick collector then. That's that's it. Every single stick collection is a minimum of three McCaffrey Crafts walking sticks. They need some shillelaghs as well. We'll throw in there. Yeah. You see, where I'm from in County Kerry in Ireland um, was very famous for faction fighting. And the Kerry fighters used to use two sticks. Like everyone else, we use like one walking stick or, or something like that. But in Kerry, they would have their, their main stick, their main shillelagh, and then they'd have a little small one as well. And they would always fight with two walking sticks. So, uh, you know, get get at least two, but you need three to be the official. For me to call you a collector, if you come on my live stream and uh, to recognize you as uh, as a collector, I must get, I must get like a uh, set up little badges. I don't know how to do it. But to be handy if uh, on the live stream, I could give you guys like some little, uh, some little things that I can, uh, you know, associate you as uh, as collectors. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I thought uh, I'd make one of these sitting down in the kitchen talking videos that uh, every now and again when I have something interesting to say. And I think that this this was interesting. Anyway, I hope you guys do too. All right, good luck and bye bye.